it is a shocking number, 240. This is the number of South Africans who suffer a stroke every day. Many are left disabled, stigmatized, or trapped in their homes. For David Mokontwana, it was a life-changing event. What usually happens when people get stroke is because, because of the high blood pressure, the vessels can no longer hold, and some of them rupture. And, and you bleed into the brain. And once you bleed into any area of the brain, obviously you damage the function in that particular area. Many believe strokes only affect the elderly, but South African youth are also falling victim to this disease. The disease are becoming younger and younger. When I was still at medical school, for instance, diseases like cancer, we used to see cancer only in retirees, not, not, not young people, but yes. All of them, cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure, they are becoming younger and younger and younger. Pume Matonsi is one of these young survivors from Mupumuza in rural KwaZulu-Natal. She survived a stroke when she was just 24 years old. My body was just stiff. I tried to move, lift my hand up, I couldn't move. That's when I was told by my mom that she had found me the night before on the floor and I wasn't moving. Every day, the stroke count in the country rises. This is tied to the food South Africans are putting into their bodies. In terms of food, I don't eat much. But when I do eat, there's got to be meat there. Fried chicken, preferably. And there's got to be a Coke there. Kume admits that her diet may have played a role in her high cholesterol levels. She drinks two litres of sugary drinks every day, even when she was in hospital recovering from her stroke. Because of the, the, our sedentary lifestyle and the type of food that we eat, uh, we often uh, get people who suffer from cholesterol. Occupational therapist Deneo Tupai has seen the way lifestyle impacts the health of South Africans. People are not active and uh, they eating healthy also, it, it, it's a problem. And also there's goals again in terms of the, the area that you find yourself in. If you are in an area, uh, sort of a poor or a poorly resourced area, it's not easy to get healthy food. There's no economy that can grow. When you've got lots of people suffering from strokes, having cancer, HIV positive, the economy will just be uh, uh, subdued. 45% of South African adults suffer from high cholesterol. With an economy and healthcare system under strain, prevention of lifestyle diseases is an urgent priority for the Department of Health. The reason that we started the reduction of salt intake in six foodstuffs, bread, brine in chicken, soups, cereals, uh, uh, and uh, spices, soups, was specifically to target this to reduce the, 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 the level of hypertension including strokes because we knew it definitely is a crisis.